Okay, so um, in this video, I'm going to just basically take you through a bit of an overview of the interface so you know what you're looking at uh, when you open Ableton, uh, and we'll move on from there. So the two main views in Ableton are um, session view, which is what we're looking at here, and if we press tab, we can see the arrange um, view. So I'll explain these in a little bit more detail later on. Let's start with um, session view. So um, we've got tracks, just like in any other audio software that you're used to. Um, and I'm just sort of using my arrow keys to toggle between different tracks. Um, we'll get back to this part of the window here, which is displaying clips and just move down here. Um, you've got an IO section sends as well as basically a mixer uh, which includes your sends and uh, volume and pan solo and mute and so on so this is the on button uh, if you turn it off then that tracks mute and solo as well as record enable um, so a bit further up let's have a look here and we won't spend too long on this because it'll become more familiar later on but what we have inside our tracks um, is a new concept if you haven't used live before which is um, a non-linear um, sequencing uh, setup so each of these um, little cells contain clips there's a clip there and there's an empty space here which, where you could record or duplicate um, or copy clips into and you have audio um, clips so this is an audio clip here and you can see that down here in the um, device or editing section at the bottom um, so there's there's audio here and if I click on a MIDI clip you'll see that there's um, a piano roll on the left here and a sort of timeline and and grid where you can place MIDI notes here We'll come back to all of these concepts later on. So tracks with a mixer, as well as a, um, as well as clips. Um, let's have a bit more of a look around. You can always resize uh, the window by dragging, clicking. When you see this little icon here, so I can make that smaller or bigger for the mixer. I can make my MIDI notes. I can use, even take up the whole screen if I want. So the little magnifying glass is um, used to resize windows and also to drag. So up and down is going to move this up and down. Left and right is going to expand it vertically. And then the same thing horizontally. I can drag up and down for horizontal expansion this time and drag left and right to move along uh, horizontally in the timeline. All right, so let's resize that again. So we can see everything. So this is kind of your work area. Um, I'll come back to clips and scenes in a minute. Let's have a look at the browser. So in the browser is where you'll find all of the resources that you'll work with in live. So um, there's a number of different sort of menu options. We'll go through them briefly. So we've got sounds. Um, and this contains all of the um, preset instruments that come with live or if you have any um, additional packs installed and so on but at, at, you know at first you're just going to find what comes with live in here um, and if you click on uh, or scroll down over these you'll hear that they can preview um, and you can use the across arrow the right arrow to preview um, different sounds multiple times just note that the little headphones icon here needs to be turned on for preview to work. And another quick thing to note is that this is your preview volume over here. So you can experiment with those things. Okay, so there's a whole list of sounds. Um, you can browse drums more specifically. So these, these are all uh, different drum kits over here. And same preview scenario as before. Okay, so you can get an idea of how they sound before you choose them. 
Uh, and up the top here, you've got individual drum hits as well. So this is one way to find um, instruments or presets as well as individual samples. Okay, um, so there's drums. The instruments, I'll just close this up. These are the instruments that come with Ableton. So you've got um, a number of different synthesizers. For example, Analog um, is a synthesizer, and I'll show you how to load these up in a moment. We'll just go through the sections first. Um, so instruments, audio effects, MIDI effects, Max for Live, which uh, again we'll mention or talk about that later on. Plugins, clips, um, and samples. And then you've also got places. So these are kind of like user defined places. Some of them are standard, like packs, library, and current project all come uh, with Ableton or they're set up. But I've done things like I've created um, a shortcut to my desktop, my own sound library, my data drive, and so on. So I can find things and I can add folders here if I want. So that's the browser. <clears throat> Down the bottom, you've got this really great little window, which is the info view. And what it does is it allows you to hover over anything in Ableton, like um, the groove pool, for, for example. And it tells you, or it gives you information about that feature. So if we go to reverse, for example, reverse. Um, reverses the selected notes horizontally around the center of the selection um, and so on. Okay, so this will tell you about things. There's an obvious one. The slider is used to adjust um, and display the track's output level and so on. Panner, sends, and just about anything. So it's a great way to learn um, about what's going on in Ableton. You can close um, or show and hide these windows by using little arrows here. Oops. So um, there's also short. It also shows you the shortcut of how to do that there. So use that as a way to help you learn. Like I mentioned before, the bottom here um, is either going to show you information um, about a clip, if a clip's selected. So that these are MIDI clips or audio clips. Um, and the section here, all the sort of um, controls or features associated with either audio or MIDI clips. If I select um, a track header, for example, and double click that, the space down here is now showing me um, the devices on the track or the channel, channel strip or chain. Um, so this is just a different way of displaying your plugins um, that are on track. So in this one, for example, I've got a sampler, which is my instrument. And I'm just playing these MIDI notes at the moment. And that's then going through an EQ. Um, and then some uh, saturation, compression, and that's it for this one. And if I choose a different um, track, for example, this one, you can see that has an operator, which is a, a synth that's on there. And there's no other um, processing on there at the moment. Okay, so um, let's just finish looking around the interface here. So we've, we've had a brief look at tracks and clips. To play um, a clip, you click its play button. So I'll play this one. And I can play another clip to go along with that. stop clips by pressing spacebar or by pressing the stop button here. We'll go into this in more detail later on, but just briefly now, you can also trigger all of the clips um, horizontally, um, and which is called a scene. So I can trigger a whole scene like this. I dream of a mirage of a lake on shimmering waves of heat. I dream that desperate to cure our raging thirst, we crawl the And to stop all clips, the square button down here. 
Okay, um, on the right hand side here, we have our return tracks. So these are um, where you'd put your send effects on. Um, we'll show you how to create these and use them later on, but just at the moment you can know that they're here. So I've got things like delays um, and reverbs and stuff set up over here, and I get to them by using the sends here. All the way over here on the right, we've got the help um, view uh, or section, and this is where you're going to find help um, items with the session, in particular, um, lessons. So if you have a look here at something like, um, let's go down the bottom straight away to show all built-in lessons. So live comes with built-in lessons. And if we click that, you'll get a big list of lessons. Um, these are to do with packs that I've got installed. Um, let's go down to something a bit more obvious like, um, here we go introduction to sampler so if you want to learn about the sampler instrument you can click on this and it will bring up some text and it'll also tell you to load the associated session and the instructions will come up um, basically guiding you through uh, how to use those sessions so this is another way to learn Ableton if you don't want to use it actually I might just um, I'll show you the next page so it's it's you know got little um, screenshots as well as text um, and it explains how some of the things in Ableton work. You can close that if you don't need to use it. And if you want it to come back, you can just click on the Help View um, tab from the Help menu here. And you can hide that. So as I said before, you can hide sections. So if I want to clean up what I'm looking at, I can click these little arrows and around the corners of my screen, and I've got a much more... Uh, sort of clean or simple looking window here and if I option click this is a quick tip for you I can resize all of my tracks at the same time so I might want my sends to be really small and all of my tracks to be a bit bigger um, or if I had lots of tracks I could make them all really small so there's quite a bit of flexibility on how you can um, how you might want to set up your uh, your window